All right, guys. As promised, here's a follow-up on the iBot kit, man. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to talk about, you know, the changes and differences that I can see so far. Uh, it definitely feels good. Yes, it's still raining, so no driving this bad boy. But it's still clean. So, <laughs> now there goes. So, in the first video I did, initial video I did about lowering the car, I could fit three fingers in here, man. And obviously... I can't do that now. I can't even get two. I can only get one in there, barely. Uh, but it's a smooth ride, man. It's not uh, bad at all, obviously, because I have a fat tire on there. Remember, this is 20 by 11 on the rear. Beautiful concave. And 20 by 9.5 on the front. Even the front has a nice concave. I mean, that's just... It's just beautiful. So, um... The Mickey Thompsons actually seem to ride a little better uh, with the car lowered, to my surprise. Uh, but um, nonetheless, it's doing pretty good. Now on the front, on the front it only went down 0.7, but still, remember this should settle just a hair more on the front and the rear, but you know, I can only get one in the front as well. And I think the front before was like one and a half or two maybe. Uh, but this is uh, definitely looking much better. Uh, I feel like the car rides obviously a little bit better because it's sitting more planted to the ground. It's not so far up off the ground. Uh, and so, uh, believe it or not, you know, launching the car, um, you know, takeoffs from a stop are different. Uh, I don't know how I feel about these Desert Hawks. You know, they're okay because it's on the front, but... Maybe if I had it all the way around, because you know that Mickey Thompson is a different tire. So maybe when I switch out, I'll put the Desert Hawks on the back to give it a more uniform look. But I think I just I don't really like the tread on here on the Desert Hawks. You know, it's okay. Uh, but I also thought about buying the same, the matching tire for the front, getting the Mickey Thompsons for the front. But that's you know 250 bucks. You know, to me wasted. You know, it's, it's all right. But anyway, the car is. Um, Looking and riding fantastic, man. Um, I definitely think that if you're going to go with a kit, the uh, Eibach Pro Kit is the way to go. I mean, nothing against people who bought the H&Rs. The H&Rs just didn't do it for me because... Um, let's get in the car. The H&Rs didn't do it for me because I saw uh, several people, I saw people complaining about the ride comfort of the H&Rs. Like, and also, um, also over time, they settled a little too much. And, and so, you know, that was definitely a deciding factor for me. I'm probably not going to like these over time because the worst thing you want to do is get into replacing your suspension over and over again. Uh, I haven't gotten an alignment yet. I want to talk about that too. Some somebody asked me about my alignment. Every time I've lowered a car with the iBot kit, I really didn't need an alignment. I took it for an alignment, and they were like, you know, you were only off like zero 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 one or zero 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 three. You know, it wasn't off a lot. So I decided to just ride this one for a minute just to see how it does with the iBox on there. I haven't. I've lowered again. I've lowered with iBox every time. That's the only brand I've ever used for suspension. Uh, and I've never had uneven tire wear, tread wear, nothing like that. It's been it's been good. So hoping that it's that way with this one. So the ride doesn't feel any kind of way. So it's feeling pretty good. Um, but as far as the alignment goes, no, I haven't done one yet. Uh, and um, but I do plan on taking it in to get it checked. But I, I think based on my previous experiences, like I said, I probably don't even need one. Uh, at least that's how it's been for me. I don't know how it is for you. Uh, but, um, you know, as far as the, the ride, you can tell definitely that you're riding lower, you know, you can feel more bumps and things like that, depending on how rough your roads are. Uh, but, um, other than that, man, I mean, this was an upgrade that I knew I would eventually do because the stance of a car says it all pretty much when you, when you're out and about at shows and things like that. That's why a lot of people bag their cars because they, they want the lowest stance possible or just have that, that slam look. You know, uh, but I don't think I would bag a car yet. Uh, it, it would just have to be a car that's just got a hundred thousand miles on it. You know, something I just, just don't really, you know, 
uh, people bag their new cars and respect to them, but I personally would never do that. Uh, you know, I, I just wouldn't do it. It's just my personal preference, but the iBot kit, man, the pro kit, it was, it took a long time to find this particular kit. Cause a lot of the kits that I found were only 0.7 and 0.9 on the rear. And I knew that 0.9 was, that's just like the Mopar Springs. I originally bought the Mopar Springs. You know, those wouldn't set, those wouldn't sell the car at all. So I had to get rid of those and those back. I never, I just told him to send them back. I actually didn't even go pick them up once he started telling me he didn't know if they were lower to inch or not. So I just said, forget it. Just, just send them back. And then, um, that was the first kit because I wanted to keep it all Mopar. But then I thought about it. I said, man, I'm never going to get this look that I want by buying the Mopar spring. So I started to go with H&R. &E &R, and uh, you've heard the spill on that. Now, the iBot kit, like I said, there's a bunch of iBot kits out there that are 07 front, 09 back. And then there are some that are 14 and 17 just like the the H&R. Um, I could have went with Godspeed uh, springs, but they would have lowered the car too low for my taste uh, as well. Uh, and I want to have some comfort. You know, I don't want to have to slow down over every little bump and, and rides like that. I remember I slammed my 300, my black 300 in 2018. I slammed that one uh, two inches all around. Well, pretty much 1.8 in the front and two in the back. That was a tough ride. It, was, it looked great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It looked great, but it was uncomfortable to drive. I would ask slow. I had to navigate the roads, and I just didn't want to do that. So I took this one up to maybe... 70 65 i guess so far i'm not sure yet um and it rolled even better sitting at this stance uh like at, at the higher level when i was riding when it wasn't dropped uh it just felt different uh so uh now i'm hugging the road more and the ride is really good in track mode i mean it's just like the perfect i could just drive it in track mode i could drive it in track mode <clears throat> and and it will it just feels great so if you're considering dropping your charger, uh, if you have a 15 to 19, <clears throat> I'll leave the uh, part number, I guess. I'll try to leave the part number in the description if I can remember. Uh, just look if I can't remember. You know, hey, it's 07 front, 1.4 back. That's what you need for 15 to 19 to get this exact stance that I have. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy, man, a quick vlog on the car. Uh, it, it's just... It just, it's just flawless to me. I put up some, I took a whole bunch of night photos. Maybe I'll add them to this video, man. Uh, cause I, I took a lot of photos for social media, like Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that, but I didn't, I didn't put them in the other video. So, uh, maybe I'll add them to this video, but anyways, man, Jay, uh, I hope you guys enjoy, man. The car is coming along the next mod. Yes. It never stops, man. It never stops. Like when it stops, the fun's over. So there's always a little mod you can do here and there. Now here's a mod that I didn't talk about. If I can get it in view, my new dash, my new car mount uh, for my phone. But you know, I, I do stuff like that on my on my tech channel. Uh, and um, yeah, I don't really do a lot of stuff like that on the car. I could have did that video for this channel, but I just I just didn't for some reason. Uh, but the next mod is definitely for car shows and you know like Flash. Uh, I mean, I'm in no hurry to do a lot of performance because, uh, come on, 485, 475, that's, that's more than enough for me. I haven't modified the exhaust either, and I have no intentions on modifying the exhaust. If I do the exhaust, I'm going to do a good exhaust, GT Hoss. I'm going to do something that's, I know that's an expensive exhaust, but I'm going to do something that's bolt-on directly. I don't want to do any welding. I don't want to do any mid-muffler deletes. I did that before. And it's just a loud, raspy sound that I don't have to have. This car, when I put it in track mode, even not in track mode. Uh, someone mentioned on the other video, man, what'd you do to the exhaust? Absolutely nothing. It's all stock. And it was actually warm at that point. Uh, but um, the exhaust on here, to me, will probably remain for quite some time, man. I'm ready to get into another cosmetic mod. Uh, I don't want to put a lot of logos all over the car because I think it's, so, it's such a clean look. You know what I mean? Like, look. This is a clean look right here. I mean, I got my interior. You know, I got it. I got it sitting right. You know, this is just a clean look. It's it's, it's grown man status, if you will. Look, I mean, look at my 300. That's grown man status. I just get in that car and go. When I clean that car up, it's clean, man. Uh, but I just got my Instagram on the front and the back, and that's pretty much where I want to stop with that. But I got something that I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to start on it. It's a pretty of a lengthy process, so I'll, I'll keep. That'll be a, probably like a three or four part video. I don't know because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be installing something. So we'll see how that works, man. I haven't ceramic coated yet, but I will ceramic coat, and um, 
We'll kick this thing off, man. We'll keep this mod thing going. Look at the weather. Look at my 300. My 300 looks clean even when it's dirty. Actually, I did. I washed the car and uh, cleaned it up, and then it rained. So that's that. Uh, but the charger is ready. I can pull up and park anywhere. I should be okay. <laughs> it's me and Jay. The mod list will continue. Uh, I won't spoil it for you. See you in the next video.